Welcome Aries y'all. I'm back with another video. So let's talk. Let's talk for a minute. Do I want to know what's up? Can we talk for a minute? Oh, I want to know what's up. <laughs> Let's get into December. <laughs> December the 1st to the 7th, y'all. 2020 is pretty much over with, y'all. And what a year. We're going into 2021. Liddy, right? Well, I know that, I know that y'all Aries, y'all can be lit anyway. Y'all got to fire y'all up in y'all bones. Okay, let's see. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus uh, Aries. Give me a message for my Aries. My Rams. <laughs> All right, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I am the Empress, and I'm happy to have you here with us. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe, because I promise you, you're not going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? If you are interested in booking your own personal reading, that information is going to be in the drop box below, as well as the link to the website, guys. Today, I am running a sale. If you spend $30, $30, this, this sale is for today only, okay? Tomorrow for Cyber Monday, there's going to be a different sale. But today, there's a really great sale going on. Okay, you spend $30. Um, you can use code LUCKY30 at checkout to get 30% off, okay? 30% off. I'm telling you right now, the hot sellers, everything is really hot on the website. But these, um, these protection amulets as well as the Lucky MF amulet i'm just I'm, I'm almost sold out i sold out yesterday um a shipment came in and i'm almost pretty much i think i only have about i think i have about 10 more of these um evil eye protection with the hamsa here um and the lucky mf um bracelets i think i have about 15 left of those Okay, so there's a lot of Queen of Water here. Even on my last reading, I just did for, who did I just do? I think I just did uh, Aquarius. Yeah, the same cards are coming out, literally. Some of y'all may be dealing with an Aquarius. But these are the exact same cards. Let's see if the third card is, the third card is going to be. Okay, wait a minute. This Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all trying to tell me too much. I don't need all that right now. All right. The dreamer. <laughs> this is the full card. Okay. So at the bottom, we have the knight of water. And four of earth. You may feel... Give me a second, y'all. I feel like there's this conversation um, that you're having, possibly with a Pisces or an Aquarius here. I see that as well, too. The moon and the star here. Um, and the eight of wands, the eight of fire, I'm sorry. Someone's possibly asking you, someone keeps asking you something. Someone continues continuously asking you for something. Six of Earth, possibly to give you something. Hey, 
Yeah, Ace of Fire. Somebody keeps asking you stuff, keeps asking you for something. I'm hearing that. So now it looks like you could be dealing with the Queen of Water, which is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They could have that somewhere in their chart. Um, balance is Libra's energy. And then the dreamer is the full energy. So this is you guys' energy. Um, I feel like you're contemplating on whether or not if you want to do something or not. Some of you are contemplating on whether or not if you want to do something, if you want to make a move, a certain type of move. Something is too risky. You feel like it's a risk. Um... Yeah, you feel like it's a risk. Something is too risky. But someone keeps asking you to do something. But you feel like it's too risky. Okay. Um, why is the Queen of Water here? Yep, like I said, the Page of Wands and the King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Someone's trying to block someone here. You've been anxiously watching someone. You've been watching somebody. Okay, so why is the page of wands here? That's this queen of cups again. Okay, queen of cups, five of pentacles. Someone here is like emotionless. This Queen of Cups person could be showing no emo no, no emo emotions or remorse. You're possibly waiting for this person to kind of like feel bad or have some type of sympathy. But somebody here is pissed with the Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles and the Star. This Queen of Swords could definitely be an Aquarius. But someone here is most definitely pissed and has no remorse, okay? Somebody's still here hanging on to the past, the Empress, and the Four of Cups. You, for some of you, a mother could be involved or a sister, an aunt. I feel like you, see, with the Four of Cups, it's just saying, like, you, you're re you really don't want to do this or act out this way. I'm, I'm getting, like, somebody wants you to take a risk and do something and i don't feel like you really want to do it because i got the death card here as well and the four of cups you don't want to do it um but it will put it would possibly put you in the forefront with the six of wands and the ten of pentacles it will possibly put you in the lead or this other person in the lead okay um You possibly, you know, you possibly tried to talk this out with this person, but and I feel like somebody here was trying to communicate or reach out. When I'm getting with the ten of swords and the six swords, somebody just decided, you know, you may feel like the best thing to do is to leave it alone and start fresh with the ace of wands. I do feel like, oh yeah, there's lots of spying going on. Page of Swords and the world is definitely my spying on the internet. You could be watching this person from the internet. You may have a fake profile. You may be doing it in secret. You may be blatantly, you know, y'all Aries. Y'all might just be blatantly, you know, popping out on the scene. And okay, while everybody's by everybody, I'm getting like there's a group of people. I feel like you feel like, okay, well, this is my chance. This is my chance. Okay, so we'll see. Why are the six of cups here? Yeah, you want payback for something that happened in the past, or this queen of cups wants payback. Okay. And they're involving you, but they want you to keep something a secret. 
Make it quick. The strength card, a Leo could be involved, nine of swords, the king of pentacles, and the what yeah, I'm getting like somebody's involving you in something. I feel like it's a queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you want payback. You want payback. There's the spy card you've been watching. You've been watching and you're waiting for your chance. You've been sitting back watching, waiting on your chance. And for some of you, I feel like it's involving someone that you're close to. With the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who's very a single mother, very independent, someone who's doing very well for themselves. And see, with the Fool card here, this is you guys' energy. The high, I meant the Four of Wands. Um, yeah, I'm just getting that. that you're waiting for your chance. Somebody, whoever this Queen of Cups is, Somebody has a lack of emotion. Somebody is coming from their um, lower self. Um, and I feel like they want you. They're involving you. They're involving you in something that, you know, something that they want you to do. Somebody thinks somebody's all that. You may feel like this person thinks that they're all that. Um, thinking that they're a celebrity or somebody. Um, I'm getting a lot. Whoever this queen of water is, if this isn't you guys' energy, I'm getting somebody's bring y'all a bunch of bull crap. Okay. And this, I'm getting someone's insecurities is leaking onto your, and leaking onto you. Um, someone is thinking of a way to make this person feel sorry. You're waiting for this person to let it go, though, because you feel like they're still holding on to it. All right, so balance. Why is balance here? Worry, yeah. See, some of y'all probably need to go smoke. <laughs> y'all need some smoke blends. Some of y'all need to go and meditate. Some of y'all need to go and do some yoga. Some of y'all need to go do something because the energy that I'm getting from this reading is, is that... You could possibly be in the middle of something that really ain't got nothing to do with you or somebody's just taking something a little too far and they're operating from their lower self. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm getting that there's this quarrel, this disagreement. Um, somebody could have possibly got blocked. Um, somebody's trying to block somebody's money. See, when things get like that, and see, we got you guys here again. Like when people try to do things like that, that's a no-go for me. Yeah, because somebody's still in their feelings. King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Somebody's in their feelings, okay? Uh, the situation, it's like at one point in time, things were fun. The vibe was fun. Like, the vibe was there. And then, like, somebody got in their feelings, okay? Somebody got in their feelings about something. Yeah, and they need to balance it out. Yeah, temperance. Sagittarius is energy. Somebody need to find some healing and some balance, okay? Because this right here, this, this, a bunch of, this a bunch of mess, okay? Ace of Wands and the Justice. Yep, you know, you could be dealing with the Libra. But I'm getting like, start fresh, start new. There needs to be some type of uh, some type of, some type of reconciliation or there needs to be some type of resolution, okay? Because I'm getting that somebody broke up or there was a split here. And this is so, coming from somebody who used to be really, really good with each other. Three of Cups in the Sun, like... They used to have so, you and this person or whoever this is, used to have so much fun together. And now it's look like the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups, like it's, it's all torn apart. All right, so the Dreamer, which is the Fool card, which is you guys' energy, the Four of Swords. Nine of Wands. Maybe you're tired of being in the middle of it. Like I said, I feel like somebody's dragging you into their mess. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands, this is someone who's at a distance. Um, so for for some of you, maybe this is someone, um, I'm getting like a pop-up. Like, 
Maybe you feel like, you know, you tired of being in the middle. What's up? Uh, whatever it is, let's, we could, we can pull up. I can pull up. <laughs> we can pull up. But then we got that Ten of Swords and then the Chariot. So this is saying, you know, and I ain't even going to, I ain't come, I ain't going to, I ain't going to do it like that. Yeah. Somebody's saying that somebody's not going to win. Hmm. <laughs> This is a bunch of mess. <laughs> y'all are into it with somebody. Or somebody's dragging y'all. Somebody's possibly trying to get y'all to jump, trying to get you to jump on somebody with them. Or whatever the case may be. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. But somebody, I'm, I'm just getting the feeling that somebody's dragging y'all into something that possibly don't even really got nothing to do with you. Okay, so let's see what other messages we get from the Kipper. From the Kipper. Okay. We got a pathway and house. Okay, somebody's coming to somebody's house. Official person and courtship. And change. Okay, I'm getting. Let's see. What is halfway here? Expect. Okay. So there's a concern here. There's a concern here about somebody expecting something from someone. Official person. Wealthy man. Main man. Someone's man is involved in this. Okay. Somebody's man. Worried about somebody's man. Okay, change. Children could be involved, okay? Children could be involved. Children could be involved, okay? So, I'm getting that um, somebody is, is expecting for you to talk to them. Or respect them. So, <laughs> you feel like this person is expected for you to respect them. But I don't feel like you do. Um, and I feel like there could possibly be children involved. Sudden wealth. Okay. Okay. Somebody could possibly here have a good job. A business going um, I'm getting that somebody there could possibly be a marriage involved, but there's some type of message of concern. Somebody's concerned about what somebody else has going on, or how what they do for a living, or, or their money, or whatever it is. Children could definitely be involved. A husband or a boyfriend could be involved. And I'm also getting that there is like a, a message of like somebody's expecting for you to follow them or, you know, uh, reach out to them or want to be around them. I'm just, those are the things that I'm hearing, that I'm getting, clearly hearing. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, okay? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Y'all need to let me know what's going on in the comment section because this is just like a little too much, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on. Ciao for now.